Hello everyone and welcome. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be bleach bathing my purple hair. Okay, so excuse the background before we get into this and I'm going to show you my hair is actually quite purple. I was going to film in the bathroom, which is the perfect place to film, which is where I normally go when I'm doing my hair. I've got my stand here and um, I went in there and the sun is so bright at the back. I literally couldn't see. So we're at my, we're in, we're in the man cave. Um, and I've put a sheet down so that I don't put any bleach on anything. Yeah. So I'm going to show you my little mixture. But I've added something. Anyway, I've just been to the chemist. I'm not joking. Absolute liberties. I got ripped off. So I went in the chemist and bought this. It's the only one they do is the 40 because I couldn't be bothered to drive all the way to Tesco or Sainsbury's. Um, and it was £2.50. I could have got two in Tesco. Two. But it would have meant a whole half an hour trip and i can't be bothered to do that i've also got a powder sachet of the bleach and i've got some cheap old tesco's shampoo because i'm not wasting my good stuff on this i've also got some super strong gloves a bowl and my intention for this is because i want to go blue i want to go back to blue but what I'm also adding to the mix is I'm going to use this. So this is a chemist's own. It's one pound. I've been getting it for years. It's the only thing that's cleared up my skin. It's the only thing that helps everything in my life um, is this. It is a take on bio oil. The ingredients are exactly the same and it's only a pound. So I'm going to put this over my hair first as like a protection because I really don't want to lose any of my hair. Um, but I think in like a barrier because it's just a godsend and I, it's, it's, it's planted in my head and I need to try it so I'm going to put that on first I haven't washed my hair in like four days so yeah this is what we're working with so we've got it's very very purple on the end so like out in the daylight when the sun goes through it it's like bright purple and then we've got this sort of pinky peachy color going on at the top where it's faded the most and yeah it just yeah i really want it gone because as much as i love it i don't want to put another purple on when i desperately want to go blue so i'm going to try this little concoction and see if it works and um hopefully i don't end up with just bright yellow hair and this color down here which is probably what's going to happen but i'm going to roll with it because i'm desperate you know when you're about to do something with your hair and you start debating like should i just put more purple on because it actually looks really really nice but then you're up all night thinking i can't to be blue i just want to be blue so we're just gonna roll with it i can always put purple on top if i miss it so let's get mixing this mixture Ooh. It's definitely not as thick as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it is thick, but it's not as thick as I thought it was going to be. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on some of this and uh, try and protect as much as we can because I really don't want to have to cut my hair again. So I'm just going to pour. I love this stuff. Honestly, if you are a bio oil person, go to your chemist and have a look and see if they do it because it is amazing like it helped my hair grow when i shaved it all off um it's just helped with condition when my hair has been really really bad it's called osiris avise recovery oil I'll, I'll, I'll put it down below but I'm, i've seen it in every single chemist i've ever been in so normally when they've got loads in i kind of like stock up because it's so good i give it to my i give it to my boys as well if they've got like dry skin or you know they're having a little bit of an eczema flare up works straight okay i've got enough on there that i want to put on um i always get an itchy nose it's like my nose knows that i'm doing something and i can't touch my nose it instantly starts to itch all around the skin does it when i wash up anyway it's not why you're here let's start I haven't got a mixer, so I've been using my comb because I'm not prepared. And oh, it's, it's quite thick. And I'm going to start slapping it on. And I'm not doing this professionally because I never do.
empty bowl. Okay, so it's taken me five minutes to apply it. I sat here for five minutes, putting it in, trying to get every bit that I could, mainly focusing on the really purple sections. Um, I wanted to avoid the root, but just I've got on there. I'm on there. Um, but it's already going blue and green. Like I don't know if you can see that. A little bit, a little bit close and personal with you. Look. Yes, I want those ocean colours just spreading across one's wig. Um, but yeah, I do have a iced coffee backup. I'm trying not to twist it so much because that's when you get funny shades. Um, I do have an iced coffee by Garnier in case I need it, um, but I'm avoiding that at all costs. I don't care if I have to go around like this for a week or two, you know, but we're on the road to blue. I'm going to go and wrap it in like a carrier bag or something now and I will leave it for 30 minutes, keep checking every now and again and uh, get back to you. All right, I'm a little concerned because I didn't um, check it and it's been over half an hour. I got um, engrossed in... Oh, I got engrossed in editing the video. Anyway, here we go. Holy shit. I'm, I'm yellow, green and blue. That's fine. I can deal with that. Let's go wash it off. So this is the end result. purple on the ends, minty green and yellow and copper. But more pinky on this side, but that's because the side was more pink and that side was more purple. So I'm thinking it's going to have to be iced coffee because if I put blue on this, it's going to go green. And if I bleach it anymore, it's just going to kill it. So. I can be blue another time. Until it's sorted out. It's going to be a hat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all again in my next one. And I shall be a different colour. Whether I decide to change my mind or go for the iced coffee. We'll see. But anyway, there we go. This is the result. I'm not mad, I'm glad I did it, because I'd have to do it even if I wanted to go brown, because otherwise it would just come out khaki, so it's all good, it's all good. <laughs>